Hi, welcome to Art Tips Today, and I'm Tanya. So I have a few things that I want to start off by talking about. Brushes are one of the most fundamental basic things that you're going to need to know about and use through any painting expedition that you do. So you want to know what kind of paint brushes that are out there. So here you see that I have some short ones and I have some long ones. I'll move this out of the way. I have some short ones and some long ones. Pretty much, I use the long ones when I'm painting upright on a canvas where I'm able to, to hold my arm out a little bit and maybe push my hand back a little bit more to be able to use these longer brushes. These are really better for upright painting. These right here, the shorter versions of the acrylic paint brushes, these are both acrylic paint brushes. Um, these are for when you want to work either flat or even if you want to work close up right it's not as comfortable but these are usually for when you want to work flat so these are the two lengths of brushes that are on the market and they come in all different shapes so I'm going to explain each shape and what they do this is a flat brush flat and this is kind of like a schizophrenic brush this brush can do two things it can give you a flat wide line or it can give you a skinny line if you turn it sideways. So the flats come in all different sizes, even smaller than this. You can have them from size 12 or 15 on down to zero, which zero is the smallest one. And then you have what's called a round brush. This is a round, it's a pretty large round brush. This is a number eight. You see a number here, this is a number eight. When you get down to zero, it's gonna be really, really, really teeny, almost like this one. That's really teeny for fine line work. So what this brush is good for is creating round circles, getting into rounded, more organic type shapes. This one, the, the flat one, this can give you more angular, more linear shapes. So you want to pick a brush depending on the type of project that you're working on. Now this one right here is a special brush. This is a blender, a feather blender. It's made out of acrylic the same as the rest of them. But what this one does is it blends paint together for you. And in our next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use each one of these. I just kind of wanted to go through the tutorial with you on which brush brushes are which. Now with this set, this short set, I have a little bit more variety in here. These longer ones can have more variety, but I only have these four right here on my table. But these shorter brushes, I'm going to show you a filbert. This is almost kind of like a flat and a round mixed together. And it's not so great for making straight lines because it's kind of chipped off on each side. Kind of a little bit rounded, but it's still flat. But this one is also good for getting into rounded areas, rounded spaces. If you want to work flat with a filled with brush. And then they also have an angular in this set. This one helps you to get into corners. You can get into corners a lot nicer and you can do really cool details with that. Again, in my next tutorial, I'll show you all of the patterns that each one of these can make. And uh, again, with this set, you have your blender, and then you have your flat, and then you have a rounded and another larger filbert. See how large they come? Come in two different sizes. So yeah, these are our brushes. These are our schizophrenic brushes, and they can do all kinds of things if you just know what they can do. Okay? Thanks for joining me on Art Tips.